Mathematicians. We're here with Alana. Hi, guys. And we are playing Fractions Basketball. So part of Fractions Basketball today, we're going to imagine this total number of basketballs is worth $100. Yeah. So it's as if someone's come up to you, Alana, and I know you like basketball. Are you a pretty good shot? I'm all right, yeah. Sweet. Okay, we should do well as a team then because we're working as a team. And I want you to imagine someone's come up to you on the basketball court. They've mm -hmm. seen you shooting really well, maybe yeah. practicing. And they're saying, I'm offering you $100 if you get both balls in. Okay. Yep. So if it's $100 for both balls, what would each ball be worth then? Uh, $50. Yeah, $50. Or we can say 50%. 50 yeah. Because uh, percents are always out of 100. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's have some shots. You have one. I'll have one. Whenever we have an odd number, you can have the extra shot. Because okay. I think you're going to be better. You go first. Cool. Ooh, okay. The tables have turned. <laughs> Let's record. Um, so first we just remind ourselves how many we um, shot all together. So the total number of balls. That's two. Yep. So we always write that down in the first column. That way we don't forget what the fraction was. And then we draw how many we got in and how many we got out. And then we write the fraction as an addition. So half we're in plus half we're out equals, you can write two over two, or you can just write the whole, like one over one or the whole lot of balls. Perfect. And then we remind ourselves how many we scored, which was half. And now we convert it to the percentage. You pretty much did that already. Yeah. So half the balls is the same as saying how much percent of the balls? Yeah, so 50%. Perfect, write it in. And then we pretend um, instead of offering $100, someone just offered us $1. Mm -hmm. So what would we get then? 0 0.5. Perfect. And we can write it a few ways. Uh, do you know any other ways to write 0 0.5? Um, don't think so. Yeah, okay. if I write it like this, is it any different? Oh, no. Yeah, good. Because some people think it is. Mm -hmm. um, so I always like writing it a few ways just to emphasize that it doesn't change the value. It's still five ten cents yeah. or five tenths. Mm -hmm. um, and now we'll go to three. So we'll get an extra ball from our pre-made ones and we'll add these in. These are just to remind you how many you shot again. Because yeah. sometimes with fractions, if you got two in, say, and one out, some people say two out of one which makes no sense because yeah. it was two out of three in, mm -hmm. one out of three out. Yeah. So just to remind us, you can have two shots because I reckon I just got lucky on that first one. Cool, let's go. Oh, that was close. Oh. That's all right. So that's how the cookie crumbles. We got three, but we got how many as a fraction were in and how many out? Zero. Zero, Zero out of three. We're out plus how many, uh, sorry, three out, zero out of three were in, how many were out? Uh, three out of three. Yep. Equals again, three, three out, out of three. three. Perfect. And the fraction, yep. And now the percentage, how much percent, or how much money did we make when that guy offered zero. us a hundred? Zero dollars or zero percent. Bum bum on mm -hmm. that one. And the decimal? Would you spare zero? Could do 0 0.000, 0, 0, 0, 0. All means the same thing. Yeah. All right, let's go to four. Hopefully we'll improve. Go for it. Okay, so remind ourselves we shot four, one in, but three out. But the fraction that we got in would be? Uh, one quarter. Perfect. One quarter or one out of four in, three out of four out makes four out of four altogether. And then you might already know this one, but talk us through how you'd figure it out if you don't. If it was $100, mm -hmm. four balls, what would each ball be worth? So you'd want to divide the 100 by four, so um, that would equal 25. Perfect. And as a decimal, how do you change it from a percentage into a decimal? You just add a zero in front. But how would, yeah. like, what's the decimal really mean? Um, how much? 
Like dividing the number into like what it's worth. Yeah. So if the guy offered us $100 for the percentage, because percentage is always out of 100, mm -hmm. what would a decimal be in relation to? Or what would be the whole for the decimal? One. One. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like dividing the one between four mm -hmm. as opposed to the 100. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Five shots. You can take three. We might move it a little closer. So if you find um, it's getting a bit hard, which it's deceptively more hard than what we thought, isn't mm -hmm. it? I started yeah. it right on the edge of the table and now we're like, oh my gosh, we're not doing well. So you can move it in during this yeah. game too. Let's go. You know what? You're probably just nervous because yeah. you are a good shot, but maybe this is too close. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. How many we shot? Oh no. Yeah, you're right. Two um, out of five in. And then three out of five out. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Oh, and don't forget to do your drawing. Just oh, yeah. so that, you know, if yeah. you were to photograph this, send it to your teacher. Or if someone was to come and check it after, they'd know that you wrote the fractions correctly. And then, yeah, this is interesting. Talk me through how you're going to solve this one. Um, you could act like the five is um, 100 and you'd have to divide it by how many you got in. So 100 divided by... Well, wouldn't you add a zero in, on the end of the two to divide it? Um, so first of all, just act like it's one out of five. Okay. Yeah. So if it were just one out of five that we got in, yeah. what would the percentage be out of a hundred dollars? 10%. Not quite. That would be if it was 10 balls, but it was only five uh, balls. 5%. Um, if we split a hundred between five balls, what would each ball be worth? Uh, Sure. That's okay. Another way to think of it is five groups of what gets me to a hundred? Um, five groups of... Would it be 20? Yeah, spot on. Good job. Good solving. So if, if it was one out of five that we got in, um, which it wasn't... Oh, sorry, I forgot to add this for five since we're doing five. So each ball would be worth $20, mm -hmm. uh, but we got two balls in. So what did we earn? Um, $40. Yeah, spot on. So, but instead of dollars, it would be 40%. Spot on. So that's how I like to figure it out. I like to think, oh, what would it be if it was one? So one quarter is easy. But then two quarters, you just double it. Because instead of one ball in, you got two balls in. So you yeah. get double the pay. Yeah. Or if it was three quarters, what would that be? Um, 75. Spot on. What if it was three fifths? What would it be? Um. 60%. Excellent. And four fifths? 80%. And five fifths? 100%. And that's how you know you're right. That's yeah. how you know you've converted it right. Because mm -hmm. you're like, yep, if I got them all in, I'd score my $100. Yeah. And now as a decimal? Zero. And rather than just saying put the zero in front, explain it to me. Why would it be 0 0.40? Because um, it's. So if you were to have one, that'd be a whole, and you have 40% of that whole, so you put 40. Excellent. Yep. Uh, or like 40 cents yep. in the dollar.